Hi, this is a quick guide to take you through setting up your PC for the first time, particularly if you haven't done this in a long time and you've suddenly got everything out of the box and you're a little bit unsure as to quite what all the parts are for and how they all go together. So you get your PC out of the box, you have your monitor, and our custom built PCs tend to come with an extra box that come with them, our accessories box. So in there, we'll provide you with the manuals and the documentation. There could be often parts like this. This is an extra drive caddy that fits in there, but it wasn't necessarily needed for this build, but we provide them for future upgrades that you can undertake. You may well get a part that looks like this. This is a, dis a mini display port to display port adapter. That's going to come useful again in a moment. There are going to be parts in here that you do need and parts you don't need. Obvious ones, like the power cable, you will be wanting that. You'll get some other parts that might not immediately make sense. Those will be things like fixing fi uh, fixtures and fittings for the uh, cooler if you needed to change it over at any point or move to a different style. If your PC comes with any discs, if you've got Windows installed on it from us, then you don't need to worry about them at all. This is only for the people who've taken it no OS and are going to be setting it up not attached to the internet. Otherwise, the whole process will take care of itself. So we have to provide them, but most of you won't need them. However, this is the misstep that a lot of people make your Wi-Fi antennas. So, on the back of the PC, if you have a Wi-Fi adapter fitted, you'll find these two little brass colored screws. Sometimes the adapter can look more like an all-in-one piece and it can have a wire running, but essentially the same fitments appear at the end of it. If you don't put this on, you're gonna get terrible to no Wi-Fi signal at all. Simple as that, makes all the difference. You would be surprised at the number of people that miss that step and end up calling us six to eight weeks in saying, oh, I'm not really getting very good Wi-Fi signal on this, I was expecting better. Most of the time, it's this, so let's get it at this point. Okay, so the next thing that you get, that's a big misstep, is people setting up their monitor. Of course, they don't normally look like this. Of course, they look like this. However, the most common uh, connection types now are either HDMI or DisplayPort. DisplayPort is always our preferred connection type. And although it looks similar to, uh, to HDMI, only one of, the, uh, one of the edges is chamfered off. It's a high bandwidth connection, actually le um, lets you uh, have multiple monitors run from one cable if you wanted to. You can daisy chain them. Generally, as we do an awful lot of photography, video editing, 4K gaming, high-end sort of systems, DisplayPort is your preferred connection method. In this particular PC, here's the other big misstep. So people get all their cables out and they start throwing their cables in. And so the first thing they do is they go to something that they recognize, um, which is the motherboard back plate here. And so they start using the uh, display outputs here. The thing is that Again, a good proportion of people take a PC from us with a graphics card in it. And the graphics cards are down here in the expansion slots. So in this particular Radeon graphics card here, I've got four mini display outputs on it here. And this is where you plug your monitor into. Very, very common mistake. Accounts for an awful lot of our support calls. Now, this is where this bit comes back in, because this is mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort. So, 
it's quite rare, even for the monitors supplied by, uh, by us, which are generally BenQ, for them to come already supplied with a, a mini display port to display port. Not, not entirely, but it's quite rare for it. So you need the adapter. If you've got one of these cards in your um, PC, then the accessories box will have one of these in it. Now these are gendered as well, so there's a little clip on them and you can see the corners are chamfered off and you are able to pop it into the PC. As you saw there, quite small connectors. So even for somebody who's been doing this for more years than I care to mention, it did take a little bit of feeling to get that in, but it, once it's in, it's in, because that little clip that I showed you holds it in place. Here's another common misstep only need one connector cable for the signal to go between your PC and your monitor. What we find at the moment is because the BenQ monitors come out with several different cables in them, we have found people unpack all of them and connect all the cables up and then give us a call and say, I'm not getting a signal. And you know, they might, even if they've got the graphics card bit right, if you've got more than one connector, it's not going to work properly. So, DisplayPort in. Again, they've got little clips on these so they don't just pull out. Um, so that takes, you can take a little bit more fiddling to get them in, but once they're in, they're nice and secure. Now, something else that you do get again on the higher end BenQ monitors is that you'll see they've got USB in the side of them. So they act as a USB hub. DisplayPort doesn't transport the USB signal. So you will get a second connector to go between your monitor, but it's not for the signal, it's for data. Okay. So here is the slightly more rectangular um, chunky connector here that goes on. And then this goes on to one of your USB ports preferably match the colours because then that matches the speed of the ports and you'll be getting the best throughput. On this PC we go straight from black for USB 2.0 to red which are an even faster form of, uh, of USB but in this situation we'd connect it on here. Display, data, connected. If you're looking for your keyboard and mouse, obviously if you've got an older keyboard and mouse, you'll still have the PS2 connect, connection. Otherwise you use your USB ports up here. This port here is your ethernet connection. That's if you want a, your network cable. You've got everything cabled up. You go to try and switch it on. It doesn't power up. Okay, we know it's plugged in, but did we switch on the power supply? That one catches out quite a few people as well. But if you've got everything cabled up with only one display cable linked between the monitor and the computer, it's in the graphics card. If you've got one, not up in the motherboard. You've got your Wi-Fi antennas on. Yeah, you've got keyboard and mouse in. You've switched your power supply on. You should be ready to go.